Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. They know of your capabilities and they're spending a fortune to see their aims fulfilled. You and your men came upon Sir Tamra in the dead of night and did cravenly ambush her. You will recall Sir Tamra as the knight who warned us against the conspiracy. Sir Temele was a confederate of Al Hal. The conspiracy is real, and they claimed their first victim. Thank the Maker you arrived. Things are getting out of hand. My son is starving! Open the granaries! Bloody feed your people! I fear this must be the work of the conspiracy against you and the Wardens. If the common folk just rose up on their own, I'll eat my boot. Maybe you can say a few words. Calm them down. Make them see reason. Barrel, you don't coddle a revolt. You put it down. Just give me the order. Now more than ever, we must stand together. We will not be... Let the commander speak. But we must eat. We... Quiet! I will provide for my people. Trust me. You expect us to believe those empty? The Commander's soldiers protect my home. That's promises enough for me. But... Crisis averted, I suppose. But if you give a mob a rooster, they'll take the chicken coop next time. I don't know how you did that. Men, stand down. Before this mess began, some nobles were awaiting an audience with you. I'll be in the keep. Van Esmeral, the commander. What was this urgent matter? I am here about the good Arl. The good Arl you killed. You're still loyal to Arl, how? Rendon was good to us. Good to me. And now his death will finally be avenged. First a riot, now this. Blast it. Beryl's been hit. It looks glancing. He'll live. See that he does. He may have saved my life. I'll have the herbalist attend to him immediately. Andraste's blood, that's... That's Ban Esmeral. The riot was a distraction. This was the main event. I have failed you, Commander. I won't let it happen again. I'll have trusted men clean this up. We can keep this quiet for a while. There's enough cause for panic already, Commander.
You're not here on my account. It's just a scratch. Thank you, Varel. It's nothing. It was an honor. I'm flattered by the attention, but even the herbalist admits that it looks worse than it is. I'll be barking orders for you in no time, Commander. Wow. I've never seen so many books in my life. They're all at your disposal. This one's a Navarran romance. Pretty spicy, too, from the looks of it. What's an Antivan milk sandwich? Oh. Oh, I see. I'll just put that back. I've only read one book. My friend Varlin taught me while we were in the Legion. He only had the one. He's dead now. I'm sorry. I am too. Of course, I knew it was coming. I didn't think he'd go before me, but... Shows you what I know. He was a noble, once. From House Volney. I don't know why he ended up in the Legion. He wouldn't say. I saw death take my friends, knowing it would take him as well. I fought hard to keep us both alive. Varlin embraced the Legion's philosophy. That we were already dead. I couldn't let go like that. That's why you're the last of the Legion. Survival. That's what matters. That's what Dust Town taught me. Oh, if I'm gonna get through all these books before the Darkspawn find me, I need to get started. Hey, you. Is you there? You. <laughs> That's Commander Hey, you, by the way. Oh, you're a tricky one. But you're not getting into my head. Oh, no. You with your murmuring and your buzzing. I know your plan. But it won't work. I'm on to you. Are you all right? I'm just fine. Watching you. Got eyes in the back of my... Yeah, back of my... Oh. Whoa. Oh. This world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil, but the rest of us scoff. We pity mortals, we do not envy them. Perhaps you should help us instead. The spirits consider mortals beyond their reach and beyond help. They do not understand. We are wrong about this world. There is beauty here, and the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. So glad you approve. I wonder, may I make a request? There is something in this world you call lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? Well, there are potions made of lyrium. I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. Here it sings. The sound is something only a spirit could hear, but it summons an ache. I didn't know I had. Would this ring do? I think the stone is lyrium. That is it. That is it exactly. Oh, thank you. I hope it's useful. Of what use is beauty? Of all the things I have seen in this world, this is the most precious. I shall keep it at my side as a reminder that even in misfortune, good can be found. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. Is the situation really that dire? A short-term thinker sees only immediate financial loss, but without essential supplies, we can expect mass starvation and anarchy. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? Dworkin, good to see you in one piece. I found some more lyrium sand. Splendid. Truly splendid. We've enough lyrium sand to keep us busy for a long time. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> I found this tablet in Kalharol. Could you look at it? I, Commander. Baldrick, come over here. Well, I'll be. We need to send this home, brother. Orzammar must know how the Castless of Kalharol acquitted themselves in their final hours. Castless bearing arms. 
Oh, that'll go over well. Those castless are heroes. It must be recorded by the Shaperite. Thank you, Commander. We'll see this is delivered into the right hands. So, what are you doing tonight? Sleeping. Alone. With a knife under my pillow. <laughs> Hot. Honestly, Ogren, what's the point? I'm in the Legion of the Dead. Nothing between us will last. Exactly. All the fun, none of the commitment. Ugh. You're back. You need anything? I found an ore deposit. Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. This is iron. Very high quality. Armor and weapons could be made with this. Commander, if you like, we could outfit your men. It wouldn't cost you anything, but some soldiers would have to guard the miners. You'll have your guards. My men need better gear. So I'm to make armor for all Amaranthine's rabble? Helen, you abuse me so. It's unconscionable. Commander's orders. Fine, fine, I'll work. But I want a challenge one day. Something to sink my teeth into. Oh, sorry about that, I... Why, you ungrateful, backstabbing duster! Hey, you bumped into her. Commander, that's not what she's mad about, but... Name's Misha. I was a merchant until she ruined me. I had her running errands, trying to keep one duster out of trouble. I thought I was doing a good deed. Then, I hear House Bemos lost a gold statuette of their paragon. Next day, it turns up in my shop. Sigrun? I... I tried to say no, but Barat said he'd kill you if I refused. He needed to get rid of it. House Bimo could have had me executed! You could have spoken up, told them the truth! And then Barat would have killed me! Sigrun has paid for her crime. I'm in the Legion of the Dead now. I'm going to die in the deep roads, Misha. I have to deliver these skins to the Tanner. I need to make a living somehow. Out of my way, Brand. It's in the past. We should move on, Commander. Oh, it is so good to see you, my friend. I contemplated visiting you at Vigil's Keep, but things got busy. What happened? The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Indulge me. These events affect more than just mages. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support, all I know is that the Chantry will not let the Circles go easily. I'm sure it will all be fine. Yes, of course. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra. But perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Inus, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood, the Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the College. What's she doing in the Wending Wood? Oh, who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant botany. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason. Something we could use on our side. The hour is late and I must go. It was wonderful to see you again. Take care, my friend. It figures, actually. What does? There used to be another statue here. It was a Byron Howe, my great uncle. He died in the rebellion, helping King Merrick reclaim his throne. Yet his statue is gone. All because of what my father did. That's... that's a shame. It truly is. There's a long line of heroes in my family. The Howes have been around since Callan had. Now it's all gone. Curse my father and his idiot ambition. He lost everything for us, didn't he? It's up to you to turn that around. Not too much pressure, right? I wonder what happened to the old statue. 
Likely propping up the side of a chantry or something. Poor Al Byron. Yeah, statues of her pigeons. I don't want to look at it. Are you saying that you could become a demon, Justice? I said no such thing. You said that demons were spirits perverted by their desires. I have no such desires. You must have some desires. I have none. Desist your questions. I apologize, Justice. I didn't mean to suggest you would become a demon. I just wondered what relation there is between spirits and demons. Demons are a worry to any mage. I do not know what makes demons as they are. Such evil angers me, but I do not understand it. Well, I hope you never come to understand. I as well, mage. More than you could possibly know. Will you ever need to switch bodies, Justice? I did not wish to possess this body. Why would I switch to another? You might need to. Unless you wish to look even more obviously like a corpse. I prefer not to think of it. I see that your feline companion remains with you. He seems happy enough. Isn't that right, Sir Pounce a lot? To enslave another creature does not seem just. He's not a slave. He's a friend. And he's also a cat. A cat that lacks freedom. Oh, just ignore him, Sir Pouncelot. They don't have pets in the Fade, apparently. This thing you spoke of. Switching bodies. Not a favorite topic of yours, I take it. Would such a thing be permitted? Would it not be considered abominable? They're dead. It's not as if they need the... But I can still feel the man who once lived. I know his life, his... It is not just a body. That's good, isn't it? I'd rather you felt that way. Perhaps you are right. I understand that you struggle against your oppression, mage. I avoid my oppression. That's not quite the same thing, is it? Why do you not strike a blow against your oppressors? Ensure they can do this to no one else. Because it sounds difficult? Apathy is a weakness. So is death. I'm just saying. Do you do anything besides ponder what is just and unjust? It is not all I do. It does, however, define my being. So you were born just? A little self-righteous baby of justice crawling around the Fade? I was not born. I simply am. What if you found a living body to possess? Even if I knew how, I would not possess the living. Such is an act for demons. What if the person were willing? Why would a mortal ever allow such a thing? For life. For love. Perhaps together you could do what they cannot do alone. If you gave instead of taking, I would consider you no demon. It is something to consider. Thank you, Nathaniel. Warden Commander! Thank the Maker you're finally here! I was afraid our messages never got through to you. Are you Mervis? Yes. Thank you for coming to the Guild. We need your help. Our caravans are being attacked. The wagons are burnt to ashes, and uh, there have been no survivors. It's gotten worse lately. People from the neighboring villages have found guards torn limb from limb and left in the village square. And you suspect Darkspawn? We don't know for sure. Communication has been difficult with the attacks, but people in the area said they saw monsters lurking in the shadows. Whatever it is, it's completely crippled trade between Amaranthine and Denerim. No one wants to travel the road through the Wending Wood. Can the Grey Wardens help at all? I will investigate it immediately. Oh, Maker, bless you and watch over you. If you can stop the killings, the Merchant Skill will make a hefty donation to your organization. You have my promise. Something large and powerful came through here. Large, powerful, and angry.
out of my way. I need to get out of here. Do you need any help? No! No one can help me! I just need to get out of here! What happened here? Nothing! We heard about the caravan attacks, but it wasn't us, I swear. We just thought there would be valuables left behind, but then... Make her help me. She's here. Gotta get away. Another scavenger here to prey on the misfortunes of others? No, you are too well armed. Here for me, then. You will not drive me from these forests. The Shems could not do it, the Darkspawn could not, and you will fare no better. Who are you? Your kind have been hounding me for months! You killed my friends, and the merchants kidnapped my sister! The caravans are only the beginning. I want Sarani returned to me, or, or more will die! Deliver this message! Consider this a warning. So it wasn't Darkspawn attacking these caravans, but a lone elven mage. Still, Darkspawn or not, we can't let these attacks continue. This place is scarred by pain. Many lives were lost. But these weapons seem out of place. Not all is as it seems. You're right, Justice. Something about this camp seems off. Why would the attackers just leave their weapons behind like this? There's something going on here. Death. We spirits know no more of it than you do. What lies beyond is obscured, even to us. Can you tell me who these people were? They are unlike the others I have seen. The Dalish. The body I inhabit was familiar with that name. My memories say the Dalish were cast out. Unwelcome in almost every land. Why is that? Because we have never gotten along with elves. How odd that mortals find so many differences to hate, when you have so very much in common. To one such as I, it is difficult to tell you apart. Are these similarities not worth rejoicing in? I agree. It's very pointless. And yet, it happens anyhow. But then, I do not even understand demons. My entire existence is spent seeking out wrongs to right. That can't be all there is to you. But what else am I if I'm not a seeker of justice? Enough. I wish to look at this no more. This large and heavy deposit of granite is exactly what Baldrick needs to fortify Vigil's keep. We should tell him about it once we get back. You come here. It has been a long time. I have forgotten my name, but I am a warrior. I am Avar, and I am cursed. An Avar barbarian? They've been gone for centuries. Far longer than that. Seasons beyond counting, I was a man, a man to be feared. A man of war. The Deventer mages, they came here seeking easy prey. But they found me, my brother, my tribe. We broke their army at the Fort of a Thousand Vigils, then pursued the Magister. Fort of a Thousand Vigils? You mean Vigils Keep? Perhaps. Time changes all things. We cornered the Magister here. Here we would sacrifice him to Yuvola, the god of this wood. As his guards fell one by one, 
He struck my brother and I with liquid fire. So even as the Magister's body was torn apart, my brother and I watched from stone eyes. Tell me about your people. We know little of you now. So much forgotten. I remember only revenge. The Tevinter Magister that cursed my brother and I, he leads a mockery of life. Disturb the ashes nearby. Summon him. Kill him. Free me. Stranger. No, I'm here. My brother called to you. Do not listen. The Magister's death will accomplish nothing. Was your brother lying, then? I have never known him to speak a falsehood. But he is mistaken. My brother is consumed by rage. Over long years, his anger grows. Anger will not free us. Revenge will not free us. I've used the long years to think. To pray to our gods. What will free you, then? There is no release. But with peace, serenity, we can sleep. I have slept many seasons with only my brother's anger to call me back. Show him the way. This does not have to be a torment. And how do I convince him of that? With reason or a silver tongue. He is the son of the father, a warrior born. With the long seasons, I have seen that violence often accomplishes naught. Teach him. The deed is not yet done. Your brother says the Magister's death won't free you. My brother has grown weak. In truth, weakness was always in him. He was a thinker, a dreamer, not a warrior. Has anger helped you? Aren't you miserable? This life of Earth is beyond bearing. The Magister stirs from his ashes, and my blood boils. He yet lives. Anger imprisons you. Release it, and it will release you. What you ask is difficult. My soul calls out to smite he who cursed my brother and me. It cannot be lifted. You must make peace with it. I... I will try. It will take time. You... you have calmed him. If it lasts, perhaps we can sleep and wake in a brighter future. Thank you. Are you really of our barbarians? Does it matter? Good night. You're standing in my dirt. Is that a problem? No, of course not. I'm just scowling at you because I'm a cantankerous old lady. That dirt was specially prepared for my plants. I only have to find the seeds now. It's just a matter of time, I'm sure. Are you Inez, the botanist? You've heard of me then. Read one of my books, have you? Mm, Wynn told me to find you. Wynn? What now? She's not going to try to get me to teach slack-jawed apprentices again, is she? She used to pester Aldred about his duty to the apprentices, when he just wanted to be left alone. No wonder he went crazy and tried to kill everyone. The College of the Magi is meeting. She wants you to go. Uh-huh. So I have to drop everything and do what Wynne wants me to do. Hmm, it's been some time since the College was called together. Why now? No, I can't go. Not yet. I'm not leaving till I get the seeds of the Northern Prickleweed. I've been here too long just to give up. But the meeting is important. Of course it's important. The college doesn't just meet for tea and cakes, but I can't leave until I find the plant. I'll find the plant for you then. Hmm, I suppose another pair of eyes wouldn't hurt. And if you actually succeed, I'm sure I could scrounge up some kind of reward. You're looking for the seeds of a northern prickleweed. The plant has broad, dark green leaves with thorny stems and is most commonly found growing on rocky ground. 
Go on now. If I'm going to be travelling, I'll need to make preparations. I think this is the plant Inez wanted. This is such a waste of time. Any luck? Did you find any northern prickleweed? Yes. Here are your seeds. Marvellous. Look at them. Oh, magnificent. Such a smooth seed coat. Like onyx. You, my friend, are a worker of miracles. Here, I whipped up some herbal remedies for you. And a list of instructions so you can recreate them if you like. And now it's time for me to leave. Perhaps our paths will cross again at a later date. Good luck. me. Who are you? Olaf, my name. Came with friends to, to drive out away the elf, but the dark spawn were too quick. We were ripped apart, biting claws and teeth from the darkness, and then I woke, flesh and bone and gristle under me, around me, everyone dead. Dead, soft meat melting into the ground. I, I crawled away, came here. Can't stand to see it. Do you know anything about the elf's sister? Sister? I have a sister. Do I? Elf sister? No, we did not take her. Probably dead or eaten. Did you kill the elves? No. No. Darkspawn came first. They slaughtered us, took our steel, brought it to the elven camp, tricked us, tricked the elf. Now, she thinks we are to blame. Hunts all in her rage while they watch. The Darkspawn played elf against human. Why? This makes no sense. Regardless, the elf must be told and judged for her misdeeds. Perhaps she has returned to her camp. We should seek her out there. The Dark Ones are curious about you too. They watch you as well as her. Can you feel them? Where did the Darkspawn come from? Beneath, around, from shadows. This disease will kill you, you know. I'm already dead. I'm already gone. Make, make an end. Please. As you wish. Why are you still here? I told you to stay away from me! 
I warned you! This place is not for you! The humans did not kidnap your sister. I know a human crime when I see it. I've experienced more than enough of them. You will pay for repeating their lies. You... you will never take me alive. I'm not going to kill you. I will not go with you to some... Shemlin magistrate. I won't bow to their rules. I just wish to talk. <laughs> talk? The Darkspawn were playing the humans against the elves. What? The Darkspawn are mindless. It is not possible. The weapons here were planted by Darkspawn. I wondered why anyone would discard the weapons. But you say the Darkspawn planted them? That would mean the Darkspawn killed my people and took my sister. Yes. Why would the Darkspawn do this? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. You have no reason to trust me, but let me come with you. After you killed all those people and attacked me? I fell for the Darkspawn's deception, and I took lives. This is true. I see now that this was a mistake. I swear to you that if I get Sarani back, I will leave this place for good. Oh, all right. Come with me. This elf should be brought to justice. Why should we assist her at all? You don't know what it's like to lose family. I can't say I wouldn't have done the same to save my sister. My name is Valana, if you care for such things. Do you know where the Dark Spawn might dwell? Tunnels, most likely. There is an abandoned mine, some ways to the north of here. The tunnels run far into the earth. We will likely find the dark spawn there. So you are the commander of the Grey Wardens. Do not be frightened. Your injuries have been tended to. I apologize for what I must do. I do not wish to be your enemy. But now is not the time for this. Rest. 